Hi there everybody. Welcome to Troy Draws Things. Today I just wanted to jump in and do a quick tutorial on how I like to remove blue lines from artwork. When I'm working on a comic page, I use paper that has guides printed on it in blue ink. Now once you skin that into the computer, you're going to want to get rid of those blue lines. So let's jump on over to the computer and I'll show you a really simple way to do just that. Alright, so I've got some art opened up in Photoshop and you can see that you've got this blue line right in here and that's what we want to try to get rid of. There's a lot of different ways to do it, but probably the simplest way is to jump over here into our channels. Right now we've got it set up to RGB. What we want to do is go up to our image tab and we're going to change, go to mode and change it to CMYK. Go and click OK. Now once we're in CMYK, we want to select cyan, magenta and yellow layers. I'm not going to select black, we're going to turn the eyeball back on black so we can see it. And then we're going to select all, control A, and then we want to make sure that we have white selected as our primary color. We're going to alt delete. What that's going to do is that's going to clear out all color from the image. Now you're probably looking at it now and saying, wow, that doesn't look very good. You know, a lot of the black was actually color information that just looked black. Now to fix that, we're going to select the CMYK, all the layers again, go back over to our layers panel. Next thing we're going to do is go to image mode. Now we're going to change it to grayscale. Discard color information, okay. Now in grayscale, we're going to go to adjustments, levels. We're going to drag these sliders over until everything starts to look good in black. The one on the left is going to be your blacks, the one on the right is going to be your whites, and the one in the middle is going to be mid-tones. So we want to drag that, move it around, until we find a nice point where we got solid blacks, but we don't want our line work to look too, too thick. Alright, I think that was, looks pretty good. Click OK. Now we'll zoom out. Now everything in the page looks good in black. One last thing we want to do before we save and close out is if you zoom in real close to some of this, you can see that there's some gray pixels. There's not a ton in this artwork after I've done the levels, but there definitely are still some. And just to make sure we have a nice clean image for printing, we're going to want to get rid of those. Go back up to image, adjustments, down to threshold, and we really don't need to make any adjustments to the numbers. The preview is not really going to show an accurate picture. We just want to go ahead and at 128, click OK, and then you can see all the gray pixels are gone, they're now black. So the entire image is just black pixels and white pixels. You probably can't see a big difference from what we had before, but this is going to help it out a lot when it comes to printing. And that's it. A quick and easy tutorial on how to get rid of your blue lines in Photoshop. Hope you enjoyed. If you liked that, click the like button. Be sure to subscribe, ring the bell, and I will catch you in the next one.